Hey, what's up guys? I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence, and Computex is over, but E3 is at our doorstep. Roll the intro. All right, so like I said, Computex is over and it's on for E3 starting tomorrow. But before that, I just wanted to touch on something that I saw at Computex that is pretty cool. And that is the Cooler Master CK line of keyboards. I don't know, maybe it's because I owned a Drevo Caliber for a while. You can click right here to see my review or right here, I'm not sure. But I was really hoping for someone to make a wireless mechanical keyboard with a cool design. And that is what Cooler Master did. The only reason why I sold my caliber was because it was a 71 key keyboard instead of a full sized one with a number pad. This is definitely a keyboard I am going to buy as long as it's not too expensive. Although I'm sure that this thing is going to cost me a pretty penny. The CK620 can of course be wired or wireless and it will last up to five hours with full RGB lighting or much more without. Let's just hope that the full size one has a bigger battery in it or I'll have to jerry rig something on my own. All right, let's move on to some E3, but E3 only starts on Tuesday, you might say. Well, the Xbox and Bethesda presentations were yesterday, so yeah, don't know why it started early. Let's start with Xbox, and I can't name all of the stuff they announced, so I'll just go with what I thought was pretty cool. First of all, they are working on a game streaming service similar to Nvidia's, but a lot better. You will be able to enjoy console grade gaming on any device, your phone, Xbox, PC, etc. They also teased work on new hardware saying that they are deep into architecturing the new Xbox console or the next one basically. Microsoft Studios also bought four game studios and announced a fresh new one called The Initiative. If that doesn't smell like exclusive new games for Xbox and PC, I don't know what does. Gaming wise, there were so many games. An engine demo from Game Studio 343 Industries was used to show a little bit of what Halo Infinite could be. I have absolutely no clue what they were trying to showcase here, but I am sure happy to see a new Halo game in the works. The game's story is supposed to continue right after the events of Halo 5, and they are hard at work to build and use the slip space game engine. Then we have a game that intrigued me at the reveal since I thought it might be Bioshock 4 for a second. The game in question is called We Happy Few and seems like a pretty creepy and interesting story to say the least. Apparently it's a story about a small English town hooked on psychedelic drugs. Interesting concept. Then we have Dying Light 2 which made an appearance and has interesting new mechanics based on choice that allows you to carve your own stories. They demoed two timelines and you should check them out. It looked like a pretty cool system. Also, Just Caused 4, which seems a little more serious than the last one. Apparently the villains figured out how to make tornadoes or is that what's happening here? I'm not sure. Personally, I bought and played Just Cause 3 just to fly around and sling things together. It was just so much fun. Then there were three new Gears of War games with Gears of War Pop, which I believe is a mobile game, Gears Tactics, which is a turn-based strategy game similar to XCOM, and of course a good old Gears 5 which follows the story of Kate Diaz on a mission to find why she's having nightmares or something like that. And lastly on the Xbox side of the presentation something that kind of surprised me was the Jump Force game which brings characters from different animes together in a mega battle. I mean they got all the most mainstream ones in there so far. Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece and you even see a little bit of Death Note at the end. I'm not afraid to to say I loved and still love these shows but I hope it's not just a 1v1 side view fighter since they got those 3D models in the trailer and I want them to use it for a 3D environment. And now for the Bethesda presentation which announced Doom Eternal with twice as many creatures and even more action, Prey which will have three new modes, story mode, new game plus and survival mode and a new DLC called Moon Crash. But of course the best thing they showed was the Alexa Sky Skyrim game. Play Skyrim. You're level 57 and see a tall snowy mountain. 
climate. Just kidding. They gave us more information on Fallout 76 and how its online component will be integrated. It would be way too long to explain how it will work, but go check out their E3 conference. It was full of details and super easy to understand. Also, not to mention, extremely cool. Um, it's gonna be the first Fallout game I'm gonna play. They also teased two new Elder Scrolls games, Blades, which is a full game that will be released on all platforms with a focus on mobile gaming, and the Elder Scrolls Six, which is sure to be an awesome game. Although they literally just show the banner, nothing more. They also had a pretty big focus on VR with most of the games announced having a VR version or VR compatibility. So you guys asked me what I wanted to see at E3 and I gotta say, I didn't expect most of the stuff that they announced and I'm glad. But at the same time, E3 hasn't even started yet. So I'm still hyped up to see what's gonna come up for Nintendo, Sony and all of the other Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the news. It's, it's been gaming centric for a reason. E3 is right around the corner. Don't forget to click right here to see the latest video. Leave a like, it'd be appreciated. And right here to subscribe to the channel. All right, so the, the free content right here. By the way, this side might be less purple just because uh, my light died, so I have to charge it. Don't forget to stay frosty and that's it. Stay frosty.